Saturday night. Their final regular season home game is this Saturday night. We're giving everybody a chance to win tickets, whatever you need. If you need um, two tickets, we'll hook you up. If you need ten tickets, we'll take care of you, whatever it is you need. We purchased a ton of tickets for this Saturday night's final regular season home game. And the theme is game show themes. On the line right now is Greg. Greg, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. How's it going? Good. I'm going to play a theme for you. And one time, you got to get three of these to win. One time, you can pick somebody in the studio to help you out, okay? All right. All right. Here's song number one. Game show theme number one. Tell me, what is this theme? What game show is this one? This is the hey! Price is Right. He's got it right. That's one. I'm this... done now because I don't know any other ones. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> How many tickets do you want? Five. <laughs> okay. Let's sit tight. He's going to hook you up. See how easy I am today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I'm giving away Joe Habica's tickets this morning. <laughs> Can I borrow uh, 100 bucks, Bill? Uh, here's okay. Michael. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing? Good morning, Bill. Good. Uh, where, are you, uh, where are you calling from, Michael? Oh, I'm in Utica. In Utica. All right. Uh, you want to go to the game? How many tickets are you going to need if you win here? Um, four. Uh, sure. Four, yeah. You're hooked up. All right. Uh, here we go with yours. Uh, uh, tell me, what is this theme from what game show is this theme from? Let's see. Oh, it's a I know it. I'm going to have to ask Mr. Trump to help me. Okay, you're going to ask Mr. Trump. What game show theme is that from? I'm sorry. Can you play that again? I'm uh, taking a call. <laughs> All right. This is very, very, good, very, very good. I'm going to go with Familia Feud. Is it Familia <laughs> Fo- Feud? It is. Yes, it Beautiful. is. There you go. Good, good pick there, Mike. To ask for Trump's help. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Smart. Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. President. All right. Uh, finally, let's do Scott in here. Scott, good morning. Where are you calling from? Utica. And Utica. Scott and Utica. You see how this game goes. You see the trend here. We really do want you to win. How many tickets would you need if you're going to uh, you're going to go on Saturday night? Five. Five tickets. All right. Here we go with your theme. Listen very carefully. Which game show theme is this one? There, uh, Scott. I don't know. Uh, you don't know? Did you say Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. I think so. He did. And he said, Wheel of Fortune. Is it Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. It is Wheel of Fortune. How in the hell did you get it? Good guess. That is amazing. Just came to All him. All right, Scott. He's going to hook you up. Um, we'll give you your tickets for Blue Sox on Saturday night. And um, there you have that. So I did want to go head-to-head between the two of you. Uh, Ron Dinelli and Steve. game show it, themes. So. Now, I was going to say, we're running out of game shows that I'd be familiar with. You know? <laughs> Christine, you know that uh, between um, Andrew and uh, Ron Dinelli, they both seem to believe that they are like whizzes when it comes to music and yes. picking titles. So here's what I thought I would do. I'm just going to throw out a song. We're going to go back and forth. And, Christine, can you keep track? Yes. Okay, starting with Rondinelli. Uh, song number one, artist and title. Uh, Rondinelli, you want to steal for the? Sure. Uh, you want to steal for the victory here? Sure. It is Lowdown by Boz Skaggs. Yeah. And a little bit of uh, trivia here. Boz Skaggs was uh, before Steve Miller Band became the Steve Miller Band. He was at another group back in San Francisco, and uh, Boz Skaggs was his lead singer. Boy, I'm talking to uh, about uh, Tracy Morgan the other night. Was at the uh, Turning Stone in the showroom. And the opening act, uh, his, his, the feature act, was a woman by the name of Tracy something. Tracy Ashley. Tracy Ashley. And uh, she was extremely funny. You know who she is? Yes, I went to high school with her. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I tried to have her on before when they canceled. I um, know. I, and I wanted to have her. I, 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 my wife was working on trying to get a phone number to get her on. I think she'd make for a really good guest every week. She's really uh, funny and talks about, you know, marital things. She's a black woman married to a white guy. And uh, and she just kept telling all these stories like her father-in-law is uh, is trying to be in, you know, get into it and and mm-hmm. say the right things. And and um, it just completely messes up by trying to be funny and include her. It's, it's really her, her stuff is very funny. She's a very funny comedian. Yeah, I'll reach out to her if you want. Yeah, I'd like you to do that. How about uh, the kid uh, J. Rob? Uh, we had him on. Uh, we had him on yesterday morning. Otherwise known as Jason Robinson. Jason Robinson, who, by the way, um, is performing. In, he's competing in the Junior Nationals, which I believe that's in Wisconsin. Yeah, Madison. I Madison, think you Wisconsin. Uh, did you hear how well he did yesterday? Yeah, he's knocking it out of the park. He set a national record in the 25-meter butterfly in the pool yesterday. Hmm. Set a national record. 
Uh, I believe he's earned uh, uh, seven or eight gold medals up to this point um, in swimming, two silver medals in field, and uh, another bronze in another event. This kid is really on fire here. Getting tired just thinking about it. (laughs) (laughs) And then today he's doing more uh, track and field today and tomorrow. But, uh, I mean, he set a national record. We spoke to him yesterday. He's really a, a... and, an amazing kid. And not only is... And, and he suffers from spina, spina bifida. Right, right. And his foundation, the J-Rob Foundation, helps provide adaptive sports equipment to kids his age that um, are in a similar situation that he is. But it says a lot for our area. You know, you look at the Citroen organization, mm-hmm. all that they do for not just wounded warriors and veterans and stuff like that, but also adaptive sports medicine. He's got a lot of great people to look up to, like Herman Garrick, who... Uh, you know, rides in the Boilermaker. He races in the Boilermaker every year. He's yeah, competing yeah. nationally in marathons. So I think, you know, it says a lot about our area and the strides we've made for that. Christine Bellino, did you uh, see there was yet another great story on Pokemon Go yesterday? Uh, uh, this, I don't know which one you're referring to, but yes. It's hard because there's about a dozen every yeah, day. I've got one, yeah. too, and another one. It yeah. might be the same one in uh, New Jersey. Uh, uh, no, this is oh, a Baltimore oh, story. I've got a New Jersey one hmm. after. Uh, what's your Jersey story? Let me just click it here. Uh... So anyway, a woman in New Jersey was playing the game and uh, apparently uh, got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Tried, she tried to, tried to catch a Pokemon in a cemetery, climbed a tree. I couldn't get and out. had to call 911 because wow. she got stuck. How about the guy in Baltimore who was playing Pokemon Go while he was driving, ran into a police car that was parked on the street. Then he got out and told the cops... Uh, then he got out and told the cops, quote, that's what I get for playing this dumb game. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. Here's audio. Maybe. Apparently doesn't want to play. Actually, he said this dumb ass game is what he said. Uh, and the cops then, uh, you know, he had to be ticketed or arrested or something like this. Ticketed, right? He ran into the uh, ran into directly into the police car. Uh, but th- are you doing any of this, Nagel? You have, you, no. uh, you have no interest no, in it. Absolutely Christine, not. you are dabbling in it, though, right? I was dabbling in Pokemon Go. Yeah. I played it over the weekend just to kind of see what all the fuss was about. And um, my son was playing it or showing me how to play it. And it's actually kind of fun and addicting. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not a big video game player. So, but I could see how people do get addicted to it. Uh, A woman in Indiana stabbed her husband in the chest the other night. (laughs) Over Pokemon? With a gr- no, this was. Uh, I was going to say that with, with a quick Pokemon. transition. Yeah, this, with was, a- this is a game called Grill Fork Go, <laughs> um, and she stabbed him right in the chest because he came home from the store without the donuts she wanted. Oof. And her two-year-old child was asleep in the house. The neighbor heard the fight and saw the husband with a fork broken off in his chest. Nice. But she didn't want to be identified. Apparently, the husband will be okay. But he told police the story about the donuts. The wife's name is Michelle Nelson. She's being held on the charge of aggravated battery. Here is audio that is not going to play on this one. Oh, I'm just so glad everything's working so well this morning. Um, uh, here, well, here's, basically, what, here's, here's what she said. Yeah. yeah. Here. Um, well, he didn't have my donuts, so I wanted to come home and have some donuts with my steak, and so he didn't have the donuts, so I stabbed him with the fork. That's exactly it. Thank or you very much. Or something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. Here's uh, <laughs> last night Ted Cruz spoke at the Republican National Convention. You've probably already heard about this, but it ended in booze. Uh, as the crowd really gave it to him, listen to the booze here. Ended, ended. Boo. Boo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, because uh, that audio wasn't playing either. Uh, None of my audio was playing. Well, I meant it ended for going on. It ended in booze for Ted Cruz, who immediately went off the uh, stage and probably yes. had a cocktail or two. And immediately, <laughs> Trump came in from the back, and he was looking out of the back. He stood up and said, "What? I don't know. What did Donald Trump say?" <sighs> you know, <laughs> it was all right, but you know, um, I would have taken something from Michelle that would have probably went over better. That would have been a little, a little plagiarism might have worked.